Hi, Gregory, congrats with the win. I think it's a perfect day for you. Oh yeah, not only for me, also for the team, <laughs> especially for the team. <laughs> Was this also the plan, attacking with so many rides on the Camelberg? Yeah, I think on the Camel is always the strongest ride to go away. Uh, everybody who can follow will follow and um, our guys was all in front and uh, they accelerated already the first time and it was nice to have three guys in front after uh, the first time Camel. Putting Milan in front, letting him go solo, was that to let uh, Mathieu get tired? I mean, we wanted to race, uh, race aggressive, but honestly, we, I was thinking we will be a bit more uh, splits in the bunch and it will be a bit more chaos, but this was not really the case. It was still quite a big group in the back. And then maybe it was not the right thing to go alone that early for Johnny, but yeah, yeah I think in the end he, he, made, uh, he played a part of it that Mathieu was maybe chasing a little bit more than uh, he, he normally would. Did you guys have confidence in the sprint of Mats against Mathieu? No, I mean confidence, I mean we all know Mathieu can win everything, but we also know Mats can win everything. So. Yeah. It was a nice head-to-head -head sprint and we also know that Mathieu prefers to have a short sprint and Mats prefers to have a long sprint. Yeah. And when you go from the front against Mathieu and you beat him, that's uh, a good sign. So did you tell that to Mats in the last kilometers or does he know that himself? I, uh, I repeat it in the radio, I'm pretty sure he knows himself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're, you guys are so strong this year as a team. Where does it come from? I think we was always good as a team, but we also work now uh, many years together with a lot of guys and everybody knows more or less his place and we have not only one guy very strong, we have three top riders, sometimes even four, yeah. and the others, they are super strong helpers, so yeah. that yeah. with this you can work. Are you putting your guys next to Vismali's bike as a team or maybe before Vismali's bike? Uh, it was a question was asked already before. Uh, we don't look uh, especially uh, to all the riders. We look actually to us. Okay. We look at how we work, and we know that Visma is is a top team, but we don't compare us with them. Okay. So, and Sunday it's of course the Ronde van Vlaanderen. What are you guys going to? Do? Is it going to be the same tactic as today? I cannot tell you now. <laughs> Maybe a small thing. I need to sleep a couple nights, and we need to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Last question, Mats, he's, he's so good now, but how has he who, how has he got to do it on the Ronde, going solo like last year from really far or? I think he is a good one in un anticipating and I think he, when you need to go at the moment where nobody can pull it back or uh, no helpers can pull yeah. it back and this is not so easy to do and I don't know yet because it's, of course, Mathieu and Wout, the, the race is maybe better for them but we are really confident as well with Mats. Yeah. We have also Chaspero going very, very well. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's Pocky even coming. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, nobody knows. So we will see. Thanks. Congrats. Thank you.